and we are back. Second day out here, man. You see what happened the first day. Big iguana was in the tree, jumped out, broke the pole. Today we had to bring some reinforcements because it's going to be our official day trying to catch or even shoot some of these iguanas out here. Oh yeah. As you can see, everything is really tight, so we have to be really cautious of what we're doing. And uh, you know, we got the catch pole and we have a low powered air rifle brake barrel, so yeah. use that if necessary at uh, certain areas, you know. But stay tuned, we're gonna see if we see anything. We'll give you an update here in a second. Oh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Cut. Okay. Yeah, he's like right here. Like you can go down there and grab him. But yeah, guys, this is what the iguanas are doing. We're deploying the ninja. He's right there, ninja. He's right there, ninja. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Let's go. <laughs> Sheesh. Hey, ninja. <laughs> Don't roll in now. <laughs> Good grab, ninja. Good grab. The bad, bad iguana. Ooh, that's a fat one over there, dude. Oh, he's way bigger. All right, let's bag these guys. All right, guys, so super sorry about that super windy footage. Uh, we got the mic on now, so what'd you see, guy? Uh, the giant iguana. I spotted another one, too. Oh, a small female up there, too. Okay. They're up there hiding good, though, huh? Yeah. But from this angle, you can see them, but when you go under the tree, you can't. Yeah, they're, they're too high up. So uh, the tree, uh, from the from the under the tree it looks you can see straight up to the top. From here you can see him clear, but once you get under there you just can't see him. Yeah. Well here's what man. The houses are back there. Yeah. So we know where he's at. It's just a matter of time before we catch him on the ground, you know? Yeah. And be able to pick him off like that. We don't wanna, you know. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can see him from underneath, but I mean Yeah, we don't wanna push the issue if we don't have to at this very second, you know? Right now, he is aware of our presence. So, you know, we, we want to make sure we can do the best way of getting them. The most humane way, most safest way. The, the big boy's still in the same spot, but the baby's right. You see the naked branch right there? See the legs poking yeah, out? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah, we got to see if we can get a clean shot on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good eye. Let me see if I have a clean shot.
Good there shot. It there it is. There it is. Oh yeah, another one in the bag. Good eye, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see his head. Oh, I see his head. Oh, that's a hit. It's a hit? That's oh, a hit. he's feeling it. That's a hit. Oh, we're gonna come back. Oh, I see him. Oh, no, he's going. I see him. Alright, let me get one more. He's gonna try, but he's done. Yeah, he's done. Right through the uh, vitals. Yep. He's done. We'll get him one more, bring him down. We gotta come and push him. Trespassing out here, guy. You bad, bad iguana. Be a good iguana. Ryan is. I'd take it. You take him? Yeah. Okay. Take him for you. Yeah? Where are you from? Honduras. Ah. I got a lot of friends from Honduras. They love to eat their iguanas. It's a healthy boy. Big male. Yeah. Big male. They get much bigger, but still a good size, you know? Yeah, this is a little bit. Yeah, they get they get much bigger, but you know, he's still a good four pounds, you know? Probably. Yeah, he's still he's still a good size. Alright, we're gonna take a break. Uh we'll be back. We're gonna look through the uh trees again, see if we see any uh thing else. There's another one over there that we're actually gonna try to get too. We're gonna try to get him with the pole. Yeah, so probably about maybe the same size as that. He's on the ground though. We're gonna try to get him with the pole though, because he's right by the water. But uh, we'll bring this just in case for backup, you know. Yeah, that was the boss. Yeah, it was good, right? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> in the bag. Ninja, what? Twenty minutes? Yeah. About oh, twenty minutes. About twenty minutes, eh? Hey? Check that out. Yeah, let's go on the other side, dude. Yeah. Let's see if we can stick some more. Oh, you yeah. want to try to get him with the pole, Ninja? Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> I got your backup and I'll have the air rifle just in case it gets froggy, all right? All right, bet. All right, guys, we're going to the other side. Sorry. He's going to be there. The thing is, he's going to let us get close to him. You want to get uh, in position, Ninja? Yeah. Get ready. Yep. The silly iguana! The silly iguana! Sheesh! That's a beast! Holy flipperoo! Jumping Jurassic Park! We got us a T-Rex, dude! Oh yeah! Nice! That was, inc that was impressive, Ninja. I'll give you that, bro. Thank you. I love the stealthfulness. Look at that puppy. Look at that puppy. The big bad iguana. Ooh. Let's get it. How'd you do it, dude? What I realized in just working with iguanas, uh, anytime when they're like about to, they feel jittery or they feel like unsafe, they make like a little shake, a little, you know. Yeah, a little head like, bob. Like yeah. a little head bob, like, oh, what's that? And that's when I just freeze. I don't move, I don't do anything. And then I just let up, you know, once he stop. Then I take like two, three more steps and try to get as close as possible. It's super windy, so I knew I had to swing or have the pole already ready because he already looked like he was gonna jump and take flight. So, and this is a big boy. Sheesh, biggest one at the property, oh, boy. Oh yeah. New job. Look at that, man. You gonna arrest them with tape? Oh yeah. I got, got a couple of questions for him. Just we just got a couple of ninja. That's it. Nothing too hard. If he cooperates, might work we'll out. Invite good him for to him. dinner. Yeah, then we'll invite him to dinner if he cooperates. If. Oh. The silly iguana. Got him. Got him. 
Those are criticals right there. Yeah. All right. Good. Good shot. Okay. That's about it. That guy's down that right there. Yes. Yeah. They'll roll down. If not, I'll go up there with the ladder and get him. No biggies, but now those iguanas are not going to be occupying that, that area right there. Exactly, pooping that's, up the place. That's the bottom line. So there was there was three iguanas right on the edge of the roof. I just killed them. They're just all sitting right there, though. Okay. They're on the edge. I just boom, boom, boom. Okay, good. There's so, one on perched on my roof now, but I don't know if, if they if have, don't have the right angle. for. Yeah, if they're on the corner like that and I have a safe, you know what I'm saying? Angle shot, good. right. Yeah. But if otherwise, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to take that. And then also, yeah, we got them, dude. I saw the four that he carried out too. Yeah, the big bad iguana. Look at him. Good shot. Great shot. Great shot, bro. One and done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great spot, One dude. One and done. Great spot. <laughs> Whoa, look at this guy. Holy crap. The mold? What is that? No, he's got mites oh, all over. Mites. Oh, my yeah, let's go get the other camera so we can see him. I'm gonna go get the other camera so we can get look up close on him. All right. Wow, this guy's a dirty iguana. He hasn't taken a bath in a long time. The dirty iguana. We'll be back. We're gonna get, we're gonna get an up close camera uh, on this iguana. He's got like white stuff on him. So we're thinking that he might have parasite on him. Okay. We're gonna go check it out though. Okay. We'll be right back with these short messages. Wrap it up right here, man. Oh yeah, epic day. Yeah, not bad for our first uh, outing with the ninja eyes, with you guys watching at home, and you know our boss hiring us. Guana man's top shot. It's been a great day. See you guys later. Hope you enjoy. Give the video a like if you did. We are Audi. Five thousand. Peace. Private community pool association right here. We're going to check some traps and see if there's any iguanas out. Take them out with the air rifle. Let's see if we can smoke them. little squirrel right there. Sheesh. Yeah, those are like the real mischievous ones. Reason being is they will actually be right in front of you, right in these bushes, right on top, and you will not see them because they're so small. And with this camouflage right here, look at that. It kind of, it just breaks up. It breaks up their silhouette. In, incredible camouflage. That's why these lizards are so invasive. There's two of them, there's three of them. Okay, we're not gonna shoot here. Check them out, they're all sitting right there. Look at them. Okay, here's the thing. Obviously they're nesting over here. And if we shoot them, they're right next to the water. So the last thing I wanna do is, is pop one, he goes in the water, now I have to try to figure out a way to recover it. We're gonna set traps over here. See that? The traps over there are dry. This area is loaded with iguanas. There's a nest under here, I think we found it. Look at that, it's all abandoned out here. They had to block it off. So we are gonna put the traps right over here. Yeah, so this is the pool right here that they had to they had to drain because the iguanas were going in there. So once the removal is complete and once we have them under control, then they can go ahead and get their pool back in working order. Yeah, so we got I got a catch pole right here and I got a bag. You already know what I'm thinking, right? Let's bag these silly iguanas. Where'd the big one go? The, the 
big one escapes. Iguana. You just want to hang out at the pool and get a suntan, huh, guy? Not today, buddy. Woo! Iguana's in the bag. Yeah, the other guy just didn't even move. He didn't even move. That's silly, Iguana. Tricks are for kids, buddy. It's like they just came out to get sun. You probably go swim in the pool. Look at him. He's just gonna just try to roll it off. Grippy. Silly iguana goes into the bag. All right, you hang out there, guy. Hey, no worries, no worries, we'll be, we'll, we'll be getting them. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there's a big one that lives under there. I've seen them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, my God. Grande. Big Kiwana. Lives under there. Yeah, you remember when I came out here the first day, I put that video out. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. Did you I see know. it or no? Yeah, I see, I see. You saw it? Yeah, I saw it, yeah. 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 <laughs> Check out for... This. Yeah? Yeah. Were you doing a soap, a curry, what? A uh, soup? We might have it with coconut. Okay, like a uh, okay. coconut. Like a curry, right? Mm -hmm. Curry, right, exactly. Very nice. Okay, we got the trap set up over here at the nest. Put a little shade guard on it. So many little lizards right here. As soon as I put the bait, a bunch of little curly tails are coming out, expecting it. Yeah, so we're gonna put it right up in here. There it is. That's perfect. First chum. It's gonna be interesting to see what we catch in the next couple days. Stay tuned. Crikey, Mike, look at that go in. Right here? It off. He didn't look that big up there. I thought he was small. That's actually a good lunch size iguana right there. Check that out. Look at this tail meat. Oh. Nice fat tail, beautiful legs right there. Sheesh, that's a good eater. It's a nice little young female right here. Talk about some delicious meat. Okay, we're gonna look around here. Oh, there's another one right here. Del, Del, uh, I think there's another one up here, bud. Where you going, dude? Yeah, let me show you. Where is he? Where is he? Okay. <laughs> hey, we took them out. It's really good because we set traps over there. So these iguanas are not going to go in the traps. We actively spotted them and actively took them down, euthanized them humanely. Sheesh. They are feisty though, you know, trying to catch them. Here's what's going on. The water's right here. I don't have the iguana dog with me today, but we might have to bring him if these iguanas keep going in the water. But you see, I'm trying my hardest to prevent them from going in the water. I don't want them going in the water. So that's why I'm gonna do whatever I can to stop them 
and then euthanize them as quick as possible. Silly iguanas hired out here to do the iguana removal. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got yeah, we got two of them behind us. We're, they're like living on the roofs and stuff, right? Yeah, I have a, a closed off balcony, and they'll jump in and get like stay in the closed in balcony because they can't get out. Really? Okay. Well, my name is Raj, the iguana man. We just got hired here. I got a business card for you. All right. Okay. So if they're ever trapped in there, you just call me. I'll come grab them. No charge to you. It's for the association. Okay, that sounds good. All Thank right. You. Awesome. There we go. That's the catch of the day out here at the job. Third day out here after getting hired. We're only here for an hour a day. And so far, uh, we've got six today. We got seven the other day. So it seems a uh, pretty productive hours out here, man. Making a big difference, huge impact on these invasive iguanas living in this private gated community. Insane, insane, insane. Hopefully at the end of the job, guys, the pool can get back in function and people can start enjoying their backyard instead of it being overran by these mini dinosaurs. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hi, I'm Robin. Dale. Okay, Dale. Um, you were here on Friday too, Dale? Yeah. It was you, just the two of you? you yeah. Go? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. You got, you got different team members. Yeah, no, Dale was here with me Friday. Yeah. I'm saying, but oh, the oh, last yeah, yeah. time oh, uh, yeah, it was yeah, uh, yeah. DJ. DJ. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then the other time before that, it was a uh, ninja. Yeah. You brought ninja here. Exactly. <laughs> like it looks like that area is the most, you know, that area and the roofs. Yeah. yeah. The, the the roofs everywhere. Yeah. By the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, it's great to see you, man. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Holy crap. What the heck? Huh. Let me go get my other air rifle. Okay, well, definitely I'm not prepared for that coming back from vacation. Sheesh. Wow. 
well. Sheesh, I was not expecting that. Where's Robin? Okay, so you guys are not kidding. There's definitely a lot of iguanas out here, huh? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How many, how many you got right there? Three. Three right there? Yeah, I just shot at three. And then that fourth one over there? Yeah. Yeah, because what I like to do is I like to, like, I like to shoot them and kill them. I don't like to shoot them and they're injured and they run off. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. No, no, no. You be a good iguana. In the bags. Where's the other? Oh, all over here, huh? Yeah. This is big one right here. He's out. Big boy's out? Oh, okay, I see him. Yeah. Big one right here? Yeah. We got two in the Oh, my goodness. All right, yeah. We got big one right here. Is he on the dock? No, he's the quarter dock. Okay, cool. Let me get this right. Where's he at, dude? down. He's down. He's down. Sheesh. He still managed to weasel his way out. He's probably right there. Right on the rock, right? Yeah, I'll go swim for him. He's bleeding out right now. He got shot. Okay. Pretty good. So let's give him a minute, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I seen it. So he got he got hit and then he just went down like that. And I was like, I was like, dang, it's 50-50. He's gonna stay there or he's right. gonna slide in. Right, right. Instincts kicked in. Right. So slid right in. Right, right. Silly iguana. We'll get him though. And I got I do have a net in the car actually. Oh. Yeah. Small net. Sheesh. Yeah, I, it's heating up out here. It's really like. 
like crazy. I talked to a neighbor yesterday, uh, JR. Yeah. And JR said, the other day I was over there, 21 of them were out there one time. I said, that is not a control. Dang. Okay. Well, we got a lot of traps to clear, a lot of traps to reset. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we're gonna we're here now, so we're gonna keep keep looking around this area for them. Okay, here's the uh, kind of location. Yeah, I got it. I, just leave it over. I got it. I got it. Okay. I'll situate it. Thank okay. you. Wow. Okay. Y'all remember back here we were setting up these traps. Look at this right here, man. We got two in this trap, one in this one. Insane. Oh, there's two in here too. What on earth? Look. Look at this. Oh shoot. Whoa, he's feisty. Bag. Come here, buddy. You're coming with me, guy. These are all the females of that big alpha that we shot. Bag. Look at this. Look at this porky girl right here. It's a fat, fat goanna. Super fat. This was probably his main squeeze right here. Yeah, it's probably her main, his main squeeze right there. Big fat iguana. Drop them in the back. And we got another double right there. Sheesh. Oh my goodness. So cool. Look at the color of that. The pattern on that. That's ridiculous right there. Super cool. Hey, we got we got a bag of like seven or eight of them right here. But they still alive. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take them out. We're just we're just collecting them all right now. You gonna put them somewhere or no? No, we gotta we gotta euthanize them. We gotta put them out because there's a lot of them. But uh, we have people that eat them too. Yeah. I don't like when I see people kill animals. I don't know why. I don't know. I just don't like to harm animals. Yeah, but these are these are pest animals out here. They're problematic. All right, man. What's the YouTube man? Iguana man. Iguana man? Yeah. Yeah, I see you got the boom mic, so. Yeah, you see under here? Yeah. The store of them? Underneath here, there's a big hole that these iguanas are living in. A hole. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 There's a nest under there. That's your so baby, right? Iguanas don't bite. They can bite, yeah. Wait, so you have like a bunch of them in that bag right now? Oh, uh, yeah. They live there during the winter, right? Nah, they go, they go there whenever, yeah. During the winter, but like, you know, when the sun goes down, if they don't go in the trees, they go underground. So underneath the, here, the, the like, summer is good for them. I know the winter they they get they, they die. So they gotta go somewhere to warm up. Yeah, see this whole bag is, is full of big ones. Oh. Yeah. Wow. wow. All from this all from this area right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw you know, like they, they, in there. Miami. Oh, in Miami where they have the canal, boy, you see giant. I ain't talking about small. You see them. big ones. Big iguanas, huh? Yeah, I'm talking about I'm talking about the tail probably. Oh, alligator. Yeah, okay. Alright, take care. Thank All right. you. You're welcome. Alright. Sheesh. Damn, that big one though. He... We're gonna go look for that big one. He's around here somewhere. He got clogged. He got hit critically. You seen in that scope shot? You see that shot? You seen it, right? How you went down. But, you know, I mean... They just keep coming back. Bad, bad iguanas. Alright, just we'll leave him alone. He wants to come back. He's not feeling good. He's going for an angle. Alright, yeah, we'll give him a second. Let me rebate it. He'll come back. Because yeah. he realizes it's right there. Huh. That was weird. Something was just above the water right there. Alright, we'll just give him a minute. He could be swimming. he could be anywhere over here too, you know? Yeah. Hey, that was wild, man. Seen that though? Yeah, I've seen it. Sheesh. All those traps full of iguanas. Uh, we were able to shoot five iguanas 
the big one got away. We don't know where he's at. He got hit critically, but it just goes to show how strong these things are. But we were able to take out his little minions and all his females. So I don't think he's coming back here. He's probably going to be turtle food. And if he does, well, we're just going to have to teach him another super fat lesson. But this time, we're going to put him in the bag. We got the maintenance workers working back there. If they, if they see the big iguana, they will contact me. I'll be back out here. No problem. Go ahead, put him in the bag. Hope you guys enjoyed this little short video. Like, comment, hit the rest subscribe button if you're new. It's pretty wild out here, and we're doing a bunch of cool stuff. So I really appreciate all the support. See you guys. Bye. Day two of the saga out here. The epic tegu hunt and chicken hunt. We got the infamous tegu boy right here. You kind of seen what happened yesterday. That was pretty wild. Things escalated very quickly. First we saw the tegu. The second we saw the rooster. And just like that, we were able to put in the bag. Yeah, buddy. So what are we gonna be doing today? We're gonna be scanning some areas. We got some traps to check. And we gotta keep our eyes open for those pesky roosters. And tegus, right, tegu boy? Yeah, anything. Bro. All right, day two. Let's get to it. Pew, 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 pew. Tegu boy, you heard that report? Yo, I heard that. We got a python guy spotted. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh my god. Dude, we got a python in the morning. Let's go see this. Check that out. We just road cruised this python right here. Snatched up a five foot snake. Incredible. Is it, wait, he was in the parking lot over there, y'all? As we were coming out, he crossed right, right across that road. Boom. Just now? Yeah. Holy crap. Got so this is y'all first python right here, yeah. right? Yeah. Look at this right here. Burmese python. Looks like he's only a few years old. He's already like five, four feet. Yeah. Yeah? This is a Burmese. Yeah, I mean, obviously, sure. we have a huge infestation of these. But That's a good way to start uh, the second day out here, man. That's so hot, dude. Now. So, Bro. as you can tell, want to hold him? What a beautiful snake, Johan. Nice catch. Yep. Oh, yeah, he smells musky. He's, oh, yeah. he's in good weight. He's about a good 15 pounds. Yeah. Pretty heavy. Look at this boy right here. Yeah. Out here. He in was the crawling in the road. <laughs> that was it. Yep. Wrong place, wrong time. Run for the amount of people. Run for this Look at him. Look at him. He's slithering away. Sheesh. Ooh, careful now, Johan. A little bit now. What a beautiful oh, shoot. snake. Just got hit by a car. You can see his like neck is broken right there. He's done. Yeah. Dude, we got our snake, bro. Yeah. We got our snake right here. This is what the whole one of the holy grails of what we were looking for last yeah. night. And look at that. We just woke up in right place, the right time for us. Look at him. Hey, we went out hunting yesterday for snakes. We saw a bunch of cool stuff, but check it out. We didn't get our snake, but today. First day of day two, look at that. We just road cruise this Burmese python right here. Insane. I'm shocked. I says I was sitting there in the passenger seat and Ollie said, Yo, on there goes a python crossing the road. I jumped right out to grab him. And then, then a car tried to actually hit us both. Really? And he, yeah. And that was it. And we I snatched him right from behind. And that was it. Right in the middle of the dance. Like, like we were talking about, you just got to be out here to experience and, and encounter these things. If you don't put the time in, you're never going to find it. We randomly just stopped here. Ain't that right, Jerry? That's right. We randomly just stopped here to look, and look what happened. Burmese python. Shoot! I mean, hey, that's that's a huge, huge score right there, dude. One, two, three. Dude, that's incredible, bro. My wife won't believe me if I don't have the Incredible. Incredible. I don't know what the heck that is. Take a boy. Who's coming with me? I will. Alright, we got something right here. We got a big lizard. Dead? As we ran over to catch the big lizard, he sneaked through the fence and there was a massive alligator on the other side waiting for him. Good thing it wasn't us.
it just goes to show how careful you have to be when you're exploring, especially in the Everglades. There's alligators, crocodiles, and venomous snakes That's everywhere. It. That's it for him. That's what he was looking for. He was right there looking at the iguana. Free calories. So a silly iguana. That's a good meal. I mean, that should last him for the day, at least. No, no, they can go. Luckily, there was a fence there, like and we didn't run up to the water because that could have been one it. of us. Into the swamp he goes. Hey, epic day on our day two vlog. Now we're over here at this fruit market. We're gonna go ahead and get some food, get some fruit, get some drink. Hey, how are you? We spend a good portion of our afternoon enjoying lunch while we wait for these traps to hopefully trap an invasive tegu. No tegu boy, you can't eat these goats, tegu boy. I know you want to. These are pets. Let's go show them in there. Oh, there's like iguana right there too. There is an iguana. Oh, there's two iguanas. Yeah. Look at that alpha right there. No. He's a beautiful. I would love to have a farm that just has all of these little critters in them, man. Look, they even got a little, uh, little goose. Look at that. Oh, He's wow. like king of the rock. The rock of the dome. Hey, buddy. What's that goose doing, bro? What goose? This goose? Oh, that's the alpha. Come on, Mr. Kale. Come on, Mr. Kale. Being alpha. Oh, yeah, look at that. A couple of tortoises over there too? Yep. Wow. Oh wow, there's a bunch of tortoises in there. You see those tortoises? Yeah, nice. got some in there too. Oh look, look at these right here. Whoa. Wow. They're sleeping. Hello, how are you? How are you, buddy? Are you gonna bite me? That's an emu. That's an emu. An emu, emu. Take it, boy, take it, boy. Come in, come in. Yo, happy. Just got a report of a giant tegu. Just got trapped. Uh, I'll pull up right now. Alright, we're in pursuit right now. Take a boy. I'll see you out there, alright? 10-4. Alright, Alright, hey, we just got a call and we are in route right now. Uh, reports of a giant Tegu just got trapped. We had to deploy the professionals. We got Tegu boy with us right now. So we're gonna go over there and assess the situation. They say it's a massive Tegu. This is day two of our chicken and our Tegu hunting here in Florida in the Everglades. Uh, location, bro. I got that, bro. Alright, bud. Get ready to rock and roll. From the reports, it's a big, big Tegu, bro. Tegu boy is the Tegu boy because Tegu boy is the Tegu boy. Turn them over, he's wild. Sheesh. So you were not kidding, bro. I never seen one this big. This was different. The one yesterday you seen him go through the gate. This one but apparently this is a Tegu lane right here, so this is so this is a Tegu wow. lane out here, huh? Catch him. Wow. Grab him right where I got him. There you go. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. He's pretty docile, you don't gotta Oh man. Ooh, you hear him? Yeah. Hold the back legs. No, they're docile. That's so, Once you get him captured, way. they kind of yeah. give up. Look at that. Look at the size of him, man. Yo, that thing is huge, bro. Yeah, he is. It's almost a, it's almost a sin uh, having to put him down. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at this thing real quick. So check it out. Hey, we were out here um, earlier. As you guys can see, we were scanning. We didn't see no tegus. But our buddy Jared right here, he's been patrolling. Jared, tell me a little bit about what exactly happened out here, dude. Tegu Lane, man, they come in right through that hole, go into the complex, search for food, and head back that way about four, or well, right about now. So I was keeping an eye out for y'all, and I was thinking, it'd be nice if he'd walk out right now, and I'm looking out my window, and here he comes, man, biggest one I've seen in these parts. So around the same time, they all come out here, and they, they'd be moving. Yeah, they come in in the morning, and out later in the day. And you just got this fishing net right here. Let me see this thing. Tegu catcher. Tegu catcher 100 right here. Look at this bad, bad boy. Here in a master stand. ball right there. Hey, this is a pretty uh, heavy duty net right here. Look at that. Nice and wide. And then were you able, you had to do it fast or you went up slow to him and just did it? Oh, uh, I, I came in <laughs> premeditated and 
He ran at that fence and I got him. Oh, he got stuck on the fence? He wrapped himself up and done That deal. is a big lizard right there. Look at this thing. Come here. Yo, that's a big one right there. Check this out right here. Yeah, I've not seen him that big. That's massive. Look at the size of that tail right there. Look at the, God, look at the oh, thickness oh, of that. Uh, it's huge, man. He wanted to be internet famous. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. What do you think he is? Massive. About four pounds? Three pounds, maybe? Oh, yeah. He could be up to five. Honestly, he's pretty big, man. That tail right there is probably about a good pound and a half alone, you know? Yeah. He's got a fat gut. He's got his whole skeleton. That is a big tegu right there. Oh, and these things are, I mean, they're just out here in the Everglades. People are not lying. They are out here. And here's the thing. They're really good at hiding, and they're really good at surviving. Look how fat this thing is. This thing is, look how thick that is right there. That's insane. That's fatter than an iguana. Lost its tail bro, at some bro. point, so yeah. it's it's fighting for life out here. Oh yeah. Sheesh. That is Amazing. a big you can tail. Imagine the one force of, them, of that bite. The hospital, guys. Yeah, call these bellies. These, these are. Oh, uh, they call it a fire belly. Fire belly. Right. Boy, I tell you, this will make a beautiful purse. He's lucky right now. He's in a shed. He wasn't shedding. All right. Is this a female or a male? Oh, let me check. Female. Yeah. It's a female. Yeah. Nah, that's that's a male. Is it a male? Yeah, it's a male. Oh yeah, I feel the pins. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me get a picture of them. This is, you can't, you can't make this stuff up, man. You cannot make this we stuff up. We made our quota. Trifactor is right. Some basics over here. Yeah. Can't, hey, can't make this stuff up, y'all. This is real life stuff right here. It's not a prop. That's a real life tegu. This is day two out here hunting with the tegu boy and Johan at Sunset Aquatics. Day two, guys. So uh, day one was day epic. Two. Day two is pretty good. Let me know which one did you like better, day one or day two. But believe it or not, there is actually a day three, okay? Not quite sure we uh, what's going to happen. But, I mean, both days have been epic. Look at this right here. That's a big, fat tegu lizard. Look oh, at yeah. all he's been eating, bro. Sheesh. She's been eating really been eating good. good. That's a big, fat tegu lizard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what we're going to do, since it is an invasive, uh, it's not going to be released back into the wild. We're going to go ahead and put him in the bag. All right, so here's what, guys. This neighborhood out here in the Everglades, all right there is wilderness, okay? Wilderness, okay? Pine trees, cypress trees, uh, ponds, swamps. But check this out right here. You see that? That little scuttle hole right there on the fence? That is the entrance point of the tegus. Okay, so they're coming in through here, and then that's how they're able to go in the neighborhood and hunt on whatever they want. Ducks, duck eggs, lizards. Shoot, other mammals and small animals will be fair game for these tegus. Yep. And those are some of the ducks that the tegus are after, guys. They're after baby ducks and duck eggs. And this neighborhood is full of them. Those poor baby ducks and those bad, bad tegus. We see anything? Take a boy. We're going to pop for it. All right. Oh, we see a, we see a chicken right here. Take a boy. There's two of them. Down, 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 down. That's how you do it. That's it right there. That's how you do it. Thanks, bro. Check that out. That's one for Mama right there, right, Tiger Boy? Yes, sir. I'll go going to the pot. <laughs> nice, nice. Let's go ahead, bag up, all right, boy. Hey, we we uh we shot a couple with the impact, but hey, we had to bring out the FX Wildcat because we are shooting slugs. You know, like I love to use slugs when I'm shooting birds. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ducks, chickens, and that's the reason why. You hit him with a nice critical body shot, he's down. He's not coming up. It, and you know what? Take a boy too. Second day out here, man. You can't shoot pellets at their heads either because it grazes them, and they can keep running. Just like my friend Dell said, what happens when you cut a chicken's head off? Keep running. It keep running. It keeps running, so you gotta get him with a body shot. Get him with a critical. That's about that. We got a bag, Tegu Boy. Let's go ahead and put him in the bag, buddy.
for the pot, boys. Take me, boy. We're being good, huh? For sure. We're going to some fried chicken. <laughs> Take your boys home. It's about to go deliver the food. We got chickens. We got tegu. Okay, Tegu Boy's mom loves to cook. And with these freshly harvested roosters, she's going to make a delicious, authentic chicken soup. Wow. All right, hey, we just got our tegu prepared. Look at that. We're at a secret restaurant out here in the Blades that they can, they, they cook your catch. Got some shredded tegu meat right there. Mm. Tegu boy, want some of this tegu meat? Yep. Dang, look at this meat, boy. Sheesh. Having some tegu tacos. We got the tortillas right here. Mm. Corn tortilla. Corn tortilla for the tegu. Now we're gonna have some tegu tacos. What do we have right here, tegu boy? A little, a little bit of spice. A little cebolla. Cebolla. Yes, yes, yes. And what do we got there? We got sauce right here. Some salsa, some hot salsa. Some hot sauce. Just go ahead, swipe some of that in there. Put some of that tegu meat right there, like that. I'm just gonna go for it right quick, tegu boy. Right. Spicy tegu taco. Wow. You know where this tegu kind of tastes like. I don't know what it tastes like. It kind of tastes like red meat, kind of. Mmm. Mmm. Want some spicy salsa with that tegu taco? There it is. Boom. Look at that. Mmm. What do you call this again, Tegu Boy? Onions. Okay. Look at this. Look at that for a bite. That salsa is really good, but too much of it will put you in a coma. That stuff is spicy. Holy crap. It's like a nuke just went off in my mouth. <clears throat> what you got in here for me, Tegu Boy? Some juice? Yes, some orange juice. What is this from Mexico? De la Graja. What is it? Naraha. <clears throat> With natural pulp. Is this a good takeaway? Oh, yeah. Mm. <sighs> Take a boy. How the Tegu taco taste, bro? Bussin? Yeah. Bussin, bussin. A little bussin. spicy. A little spicy, but bussin. Yeah, we're getting that meat in that taco right there. So I think, like, I guess they, like, slow cooked the tegu, like, steamed it, and they put it with sauce and stuff. 
that's the that's the final product right there. Slow cooking and like shredded it, you know? Full of chilies, flavor, spice. It's incredible, guys. Incredible. You would think you're eating like a piece of chicken or pork or beef. It tastes very, doesn't taste foreign at all. It tastes like you've eaten something like this before. It's just got a really good flavor. I mean, think about it. They're just out and about. All right, boys, that was a good lunch. As you can see, all the plates are clean. Insane. So after our Tegu taco breakfast, we decided to meet up with Johan, Sunset Aquatics, the iguana people, to enjoy some lunch before we head out. I had some pork. I picked up a nice pork shoulder, and I put them in a marinade of a citrus, garlic, and a, a vinaigrette, an Italian vinaigrette uh, oh my dressing. Goodness. This has been sitting in there. I mean, you can probably... Probably like it breaks off, huh? Yeah, here you looks, go. Looks dumb tender, dude. This is probably really good. You can try that. No. Um, then I have some. Uh, oh wow. I have some uh, some Cajun rice here with zucchini and roasted corn. Okay. Oh man. I use uh, several different seasonings. I use Slap Your Mama. They don't sponsor me. They're a real good product to keep up the heat. I use uh, the Everglades heat, okay? And then I also, I found this new stuff that's really good. You should try this on some of your iguanas. It's called the Everglade Rub. Okay. Let me show you how this tastes. Whoop. Okay. Let me show you how this tastes. This is really, really good, man. They don't sponsor me nothing, but this is a new product that they got. You rub the whole critter with it. Oh, that's you, good. And you let it sit on for a couple of days. It's like sweet, savory, yeah. and spicy. It's delicious, my man. Oh, it's wow. delicious, so. We're about to have a party here, guys. It's a day two on the excursion. Out here, Tegu Boy, Guana People, got Johan, Sunset Aquatics. We're out just, it's a vibe, y'all. It's a vibe. Working all day, it's time to eat. You know, I'm gonna make an adobo. You got uh, Tegu Boy over there, he's making a guacamole. Guacamole with fresh uh, cilantro. And then we're gonna take this, uh, this chicharron over here, we're gonna season this up. First thing we're gonna do is uh, drop that, that, right? So oh I'm just gonna season that real well. You know why I do that? Why, yo, hot? Because I don't have to do it again. Because this stuff here is just for a little bit of flavor. All the way around, see that? Mm -mm -mm. And what I like to do after that, is I just put it right there, roast the hell out of it and then come right up behind it with my spicy stuff. Ooh. You just do that, do a little bit of this here. Just slather it. Typically you should have a brush, but I don't have a brush. We're out here in the urban bush. So I'm just gonna do that. But wait, it's not over yet. We take our hot sauce. I like using this stuff. Frank's, Frank's hot sauce, it's real good, but I like using the thick, the thick version of it. It's almost like a ketchup. They don't sponsor me or nothing, but this stuff here is real good. It's called Frank's Thick Sauce. It's real good. What do you think we do next? Flip it over. Flip it over. There we go. And we just do that until it gets a nice little caramelization. And when we pull that off, we'll put it on a plate and we'll be right back. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for day two in the Everglades, hunting invasive species, tegus, pythons, and roosters. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button.